Hey makers, this is Thruveen and this time I comes up with another interesting video. In this episode, I am going to talk about how we can export files from Dataverse table. Yes, files from Dataverse. This is the most common problem which everyone faces into their day-to-day -day routine. I have an alternative solution for that. We will create one Power Automate flow to export the file from the Dataverse table. So let's get started. Before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me. The Instagram and Twitter IDs are available on the screen or in the description box. So let's get started. Here I am on my machine and here I have opened my Dataverse table called SQL Sync. Over here, if we go to the column section, I have created two columns called name and file. The data type for this file column is file. So we are basically uploading the physical file into this column. Now if I go to data section, at this moment I have three records over here. Now let's say if I edit any of the record, the record is looking like this and this is the file which we have uploaded to that specific record. Now what is the problem statement over here? Sometimes we are using data and export data functionality from here. At the time, what happened here is, it will download all the records as a column format into Excel file. But at the time, you will not get the file content. So how you can get all the files which are associated with all the record of Dataverse? We will talk about that thing in detail. In out of the box manner, when you use export data functionality, basically it will not download the file or images from your Dataverse table column. For that, alternatively, you need to create Power Automate flow to achieve that. Now, over here, I am going to create one Power Automate flow which will download and loop through all the records from here and download all the files from my Dataverse table column. So, let's get started. For that, let's open flow.microsoft.com. Just go to the My Flow section from here. Click on New Flow and let's select Instant Cloud Flow. Just click on Skip from here. And now just click on Flow or Flow button or Mobile or let's say Manually Trigger Flow. So let's add Manually Trigger Flow. Now you can add the schedule flow as well depending on your requirement. Now in order to get all the records, first of all we will use list row action from the Dataverse. So I am just going to Dataverse and over here we have an action list rows. So let's provide that. Let's select the table name from here. So my table name is SQL Sync. So let's select that. Just click on show advanced option and select the column. So basically what we need from uh, this particular table, let's grab all the columns so far. After that, we will restrict with specific column only. Once we are done with this part, click on next new step and now just click on Dataverse from here. And now over here, just add an action, download a file or an image. So let's add that, select the table name which is SQL Sync table. So let's provide the table name over here, SQL Sync. And just need to provide row ID. Row ID we will find from the list rows action. So just select add a dynamic value. And over here, you will be finding the unique ID, which is SQL, SQL Sync unique identifier for the entity instance. So let's provide that and it will automatically add apply to each loop over here. Then you need to select the column. So file is the column which, where our file is stored. So let's select that column. So we are done with that part. Now let's add one more action which will create the file and store to the specific location. So it's totally up to you where you want to add those files. Either you want to send those files in the email attachment or you want to store it to the OneDrive file or you want to store that into your file system. It's totally up to you. So in my case, 
I just wanted to store my file to my OneDrive location. So on my OneDrive, I created one specific folder. Basically, I want to export all the files to that specific location. But depending upon your requirement, you can modify this flow and add the action accordingly. So let's add over here an action create file. So I'm just adding an action create file, create file for OneDrive for business. Over here, you need to select the folder path. So I'm just selecting root and under root, I have a folder dataverse file. Let's select that. After that, you need to provide the name of the file and file content. So uh, first of all, let's go with the file name. So file name is something which you will be finding from your list rows action. So over here, in my case, the file name is something let's apply it manually at this moment like taste. After that, we will exit copy the name of file and then we need to provide the file content. So file content is something which we will find from the above action, which is download a file. So just add a dynamic value and this is the download a file or an image. Just grab that file content from here and we are good to go. Now let's try to save our flow. So obviously when you try to save your flow, basically it will show you one warning as well into flow checker because in list row you have added all the columns. But now first taste this flow and after that we will again modify the flow because this is not correct over here we need to provide the file name as well as we need to restrict the list rows column. So we will do it once we perform taste and once we get the exit column names. So let's perform taste. And over here, I'm just doing manual tasting. So it will loop through my Dataverse table and it will give me the values. So let's click on run flow. The flow is running. And now here is the magic started. Over here, we need to go to the list row section. We need to click on show more and just click on output so that is how we can restrict our column so over here if you check your different column from your dataverse table you will get your file name so see this is the file name right so what you need to do here is you need to copy this name because this is the name you need to pass as a file name to store so i am just copying this stuff from here and pasting it to one of my notepad just for the future reference. So here I added that particular column file name. Same way, we need to copy the GUID for SQL sync table, which we have passed into our apply to each. So basically for that, uh, the column name is SQL sync ID. So let's search for that column. So let's see where we are finding that value. So see, here we have our SQL sync ID as well. So let's copy this column because this is the GUID that we are going to pass over here as well. So I just copied both of this column from here. Now I need to edit my flow again and need to make the necessary updates. So now in select column, we only need to pass these two columns because we only need these two values, file name and SQL sync ID. That's it. So we are done with this. After that, we need to go to the create file action. And from file name, we need to provide the actual file name. We need to provide that column name. So you need to click on the expression. And over here, first of all, you need to search for current item. So search here for current item. So you will find that. So it is adding this code items apply to each then question mark then parenthesis single quote and in that you need to provide your column name which is you have copied into your notepad which is crb45 files name so whatever your column is you need to simply provide that that's it so we are done with the flow now let me just open up my OneDrive. So this is the taste which was created, which was totally uh, incorrect file. So I'm just removing that. I'm again saving my flow. 
and perform the tasting so let's do the manual tasting and click on save and taste and let's see now what we are getting here click on run flow and click on done and here we are the flow ran successfully you can see in apply to each each loop through all three items and created file into OneDrive location so if we go to the OneDrive location and hit refresh let's see how that file is looking like so you can see these are the same file which we have uploaded with our actual dataverse data right so now our file is stored now you can simply go to this file location and download all the files on your local computer or maybe you can sync up this OneDrive to your local machine and you will get all the files from there so this is how this is a simple technique to export all the files which are available in your dataverse table hope this video helps you and values your time now it's time to play a quiz one lucky winner will get a shout out from my instagram page and receive a certificate of appreciation so just commenting your answer in the comment section the question is which action is used to download the file from dataverse table in power automate option a list row option b download a file or an image option c both and option d none so keep answering in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel i am uploading regular content on power bi power apps power automate power virtual agents teams and sharepoint on my channel if you are interested for hindi content subscribe my another channel and show your love over here as well also if you are interested for training consultancy this is the website link and if you wanted to follow me on my linkedin twitter instagram and podcast platform all the links are available here with this this is thruveen signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye